few questions. No questions, no answers, just be. We have an urgent matter we'd like to discuss with you regarding one of your party guests. Why don't you come back next week after the happening has happened? I'm sorry, Mr. Warhol. You like talking real slow. We got important stuff to do. And I got a planet to say. Uh, you're distressing. Everything about you upsets me. Uh, uh. Damn it, Kay. Were you trying to blow my cover? Now, Agent W, your cover is safe. Whoa, Andy Warhol is one of us? Safe. You out of your mind? I'm sort of ideas I'm painting soup cans and bananas, for Christ's sakes. Actually, Mr. Warhol, I gotta tell you, I, I really love your work. Oh, oh, thank you. Who's the dumbass? Whoa! Hey, how about a little professional courtesy here? What's that, dumbass? Say it again. You want me to? I dare you. Dumbass. Agents, you know, I don't have no problem pimp slapping the shiznit out of Andy Warhol. What? <clears throat> Why are you looking at me? I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. This is French-born astronomer, computer scientist, and ufologist Dr. Jacques Vallée. With the release of popular UFO movies, many people who previously were skeptics have begun to jump on this bandwagon from outer space. I wish them bon voyage. However, if you take the trouble to join me in the analysis of the modern UFO myth, you will see human beings under the control of a strange force that is bending them in absurd ways, forcing them to play a role in a bizarre game of deception. This role may be very important if changing social conditions make it desirable to focus the attention of the public on the distant stars while obsolete human institutions are wiped out and rebuilt in new ways.